guys, welcome back. Tango here. And we are here in the end, as you can see, middle of nowhere, and working on the Enderman farm. I uh, did a little bit of busy work and set up kind of a nether, uh, nether rack landing area, kind of outlined things. Got all of our items moved over here, as you can see. Uh, got a little snowman built so I can uh, make all the snow I need. And most of the places lit up. Uh, so we're ready to rock and roll here, I think. Um, so yeah, I got kind of got it all measured out like I showed you. The uh, This strip of endstone here is going to be the killing platform. And uh, I know that's kind of contradictory to what I said last time. I had other plans, but thanks to a certain user, Armadillos, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce that, I want to thank you for suggesting the... Uh, Queen King Happy's uh, tutorial. I hadn't seen it before, and uh, it's it's a different design. You know, same principle. Piston pusher knocks them all down. You know, they fall the 43 levels or whatever it is. Um, but his does, you know, it's a little bit more efficient in resources. Well, it's debatable, but I'll get into that in a second. Um, but it, it kind of intrigued me. The, the biggest draw of it is the fact that it's a one-wide kill zone, uh, you know. One of my biggest complaints about the other ones is you gotta kind of kill, and then you gotta like swing around the back to pick up all the loose XP and keep killing and stuff. Not like it's that big of a deal, but you know that's what it is. Um, but with one high here, it's really nice. You can just kind of swing back and forth. So I'm I'm looking forward to trying that. And, and honestly, I'm just trying it because it's something new. You know, I've built uh, Panda's design before, and you know I still have huge respect for that one. It's it's pretty awesome. Uh, but I just want to try something something different. Um, you know, everyone says the regarding the resources. You know, he claims that it's uh, less resource intense uh, than you know the other designs. I'm gonna fall off this ledge here if I'm not careful. Um, and it kind of is. You know, I'm gonna save like 500 redstone, which is really nice. But on the other hand, I need about 500 more iron for all the tripwire hooks. So that's what I did last night is just went out and got a ton of iron, did some more caving. Uh, so I really, I still don't have enough. I'm, I'm not gonna have enough to go all the way up to 127 or 128 or whatever it is. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how high I get and see what my rates are before I uh, worry about getting the remaining resources. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is where they're gonna be landing. And then you'll notice back here I have one other end stone. This is 32 blocks away. So this is the farthest point that they will be able to teleport from there. So everything from here, including this block going that way, needs to be underwater eventually. So yeah. So that's why I kind of put this out here so I wouldn't have to tear it down and rebuild it as I'm building all of my interior stuff. Um, what else? What else? Um, with this design, I, am, I do have a little concern that... You know, typically when you do a one wide drop shaft with vines, the mobs will get kind of jammed up in there. So I am concerned that it's going to get jammed and I'll have to like walk away and come back or something. Um, so we'll, we'll see how much that happens, but yeah. Anyway, so let's get started here. Um, the one thing I'm going to do differently too is I'm putting hoppers down all along here and I'm going to need to get more. I don't have enough. Uh, but the idea is that as I'm killing the guys here, the ender pearls are just going to drop right into these hoppers. And then they're all going to be chained together to go down here. And then there's going to be an item elevator, which is going to do some magic with all the pearls, which I'll get into much later. But this way here, I don't have to like... It, it should pick up most of the ender pearls for me. That's, that's my goal. So let's see here. Let me just put down a strip here. And because I changed designs, uh, you know, well, I'll show you what I was going to do. But I definitely don't have enough hoppers, so I gotta go back and get some. I'm one, sh I'm one short. Plus, I'm gonna need more, I think, for other things. Um, what I was going to do is just kind of have a. Uh, let me see here. What do I got for? Let me get some snow. I was gonna have them on a platform like that, where those were all hoppers, and I would stand right up to them and just kind of swing here. I had that working, and it was the same kind of principle as pandas, except you know. After the uh, drop shaft, I'm looking up here, you can't tell. <laughs> After the drop shaft, it kind of, you know, V'd out, and if that even makes sense to you. And there were pistons that basically just pushed them in to turn the 17 wide into 8 wide, or actually 4 wide. Um, the advantage of that is you don't have to run back and forth, so you can kind of just sit here and pepper away. But disadvantage is, you know, there's a lot more Endermen getting pushed down those uh, cascading pistons, and, you know, 
it was a little glitchy and stuff. It, it, it was working, but anyways, now that this is one wide here, that was kind of enough to put me back to the, uh, I'm okay with running back and forth, knowing that I don't have to run around back and stuff. So anyway, uh, let's see here. I think, you know, short of starting all the decorative stuff down here, all I really need to do is get my kind of ceiling set up here, and then I can immediately go up the 43 blocks. So let me, uh... Give me a second, I gotta get some stone slabs, or more I think, I don't have enough. Get a ceiling going here with, uh, you know, get a nice spot for them to be sitting in, and then we'll we'll go up the blocks and uh, start building our first level. Alright, I got the major uh, holding area done here, uh, with the exception of one hopper, I'm gonna have to go back and make another one. Uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of resources I forget and have to go back to my storage area to get. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much it right here. Two and a half blocks where I am right now. Uh, all the ceiling down here is going to be two and a half blocks, but you need to go another half slab down right here. So it's just two blocks, and that prevents you from seeing them, uh, or from them from seeing you so they can't hit you. Uh, I'm going to go with nether quartz uh, for a lot of uh, the walls down here. Um, and I brought all the nether quartz that I mined down here. I brought the fortune pick down here. Um, but unfortunately, I'm, the fortune doesn't seem to be helping as much as I thought. So this is already almost half my nether quartz. So I'm going to probably have to do some more mining and stuff before I can actually finish this. Because I'm going to use a lot of it down here. Uh, but yeah, I think we're ready to go up now. As far as I can tell. Did I close off? Yeah, okay. So from this platform here you know i'm not gonna i'm gonna do most of this build off camera i hope you guys aren't gonna be disappointed mostly because you know he's already got a great tutorial and it's all repetitive once i get up there so probably gonna you know we'll go up there i'll put the vines down we'll do the first level and then uh, you're gonna come back to a finished ender farm <laughs> uh, but anyway so from this level here that's y equals seven i need to go up 45 above that so i need to go to 52 excuse me sir uh, let's see, this is where I'm going to switch to snow. And here we go. Alright, we're here at y equals 52. So we're exactly 45 blocks above the hoppers that they're going to land on. Uh, and I got this built out pretty much like he does. Well, hopefully exactly like he does in his tutorial. Um, but this is where we put the vines now. Along like so. And I know I could, you know, wait for them to grow. They will grow down, but I got the vine, so I'll just do the double rows right now. I already fell off the ladder once and landed with half a heart. It'll be interesting to see. See just how many times I die on this project. <laughs> Hopefully I got that. I got the safety net down there. Hopefully it'll, you know, won't spray my items into the void. Oh, I guess I don't have enough vines. Oh, well, those will grow. And then buttons down like so. So for, the, for those of you guys that don't know, this is the vines are here to uh, stop the Endermen that are going to fall from way up above. They'll hit these vines and it resets their falling speed. So what that does is it guarantees that all the Endermen, regardless of how high above here they spawned, will start falling from right there and basically all hit the hoppers and uh, take one or have nothing but one heart of health left. Uh, and the buttons are here to stop the vines from continuing to grow down, because then that would have erratic. That would change the fall distance. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Those those will grow. The next thing is to do the rings all the way down. So pretty much, uh, you know, every two and a half, uh, two and a half blocks, I'm going to add a half slab of rings. Um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. You guys have seen it in the tutorial. So let me do that now, get those done, and I'll uh, catch up to you. And the giant drop shaft of Doom is complete. That's where they're going to fall down. One wide. And splat themselves on the hoppers for me to destroy them. I made another hopper just so I could close that off. So that's the full 17 now. So we're going to head up now and do the first level. Um... See if I can follow his instructions. It's a little tricky where you put the half slabs and stuff. But yeah, I'm super excited to, to get this done. I'm going to start just enchanting my butt off. Uh, and I think once I've got this done and everything's kind of settled, I might start doing some more uh, sort of buildy episodes. You know, the base is still pretty plain with the exception of the storage room. Um, 
lots, lots more stuff I want to do in the area just aesthetically, so we may have an episode or so of that. We'll see. Uh, all right, what am I doing here? Let's see. All right, we got to go up one. Put another level down here. Like so. Always got to remember to put the torches up here, otherwise the endermen come up, and then you got to play, play that uncomfortable game of push and shove, try and get them to fall off without, <laughs> without looking at them and them smashing your face. Uh, all right, so let's see. That is the spawn pad, and let's see. Pistons go out one. Pistons go on that like so, I believe. Let me see. I'm looking at the picture on the side here. <laughs> and I need to hop up there. Like so. Get rid of that, get rid of that. The tripwire goes there. What else? Half slabs. That one's temporary. That one's temporary. Uh, hmm. All right, well, wait, good. And this one goes even with the pad. I don't know why I put those other two there. Sorry, I'm just kind of looking at the picture trying to figure out how this goes. He's got one there, and then, let me see. From there, oh, that's why I put that there, yeah. Let me do this from this side. Like so. Yeah. I'm just trying to get the heights correct of all these. Like that. And then Yeah, the other the other block. I don't think I can jump up there, can I? The other block goes like so, and string, uh, is that right? No, oh, hang on a second, I got something wrong here. Okay, yeah, it was just one block off, I had to push that block in one, there's only one string in between the, uh, the two tripwires, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this row now. Like so. Let me uh, get this row down and I'll meet you up for the second row. What I'm gonna do is get this working and then get down to the bottom and just wait for some to spawn. You know, it'll it'll be slow obviously because there's just only one pad, but wait for some to spawn and I wanna verify that there are one heart or one shot kills down there before I build this whole thing. So let me finish this row up. Okay, that first level is done, and as you can see, they're starting to spawn. Probably need to work on the spawn rates a little bit, but <laughs> let's see. Excellent. Ah, luscious ender pearls. More. Uh, I want this to be done. I find ender or enderman farms are kind of like hypnotic. Once I get in there and start just grinding away at the XP, I find I just don't leave because <laughs> it's too much fun. Yeah, that's going to happen to me. Uh, Alright, so the height is right, they're dropping, everything's looking good here. So pretty much now it's like, okay, repeat that pattern for a long time. So I'm gonna first thing I got to do is uh, just do some evil things to our snowman over here and uh, convince him to give me some snow. Going to probably tear through about like 10 iron shovels or so. Uh, once I have that done, then I'm going to go back up there and uh, yeah, look at all the boys spawning up there. Oh, I looked at him. Oh, they're angry. This is not good. <laughs> he can't get me. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. It's bad. I'm not afraid of you. Alrighty. Time to, uh, yeah. Time to tear it up on the snowman, and we're gonna go up there, and I'm gonna build pretty much all the other levels, see how far I get. Uh, I'll probably give you some progress updates here and there. 
But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, I added two more levels on top of the first one, so we got a total of three now. And already the spawn rates are decent. I mean, obviously I have to wait for them to spawn, but they're coming down in a pretty good clip already. Just want to show you guys what a full, uh, a full normal level looks like up here with the trip wires and stuff. It's a pretty cool design, but it's very trip wire heavy, and it's uh, one iron for two trip wire hooks. So yeah, oh, I didn't tell you guys by the way the uh, the spider farm thing worked out fantastic. I went back, I AFK'd there after the end of last episode, and pretty much had a full double chest full. So yeah, picked up a whole ton of string, got lots of it. So. All right, I'm going to keep repeating this pattern. It's pretty easy to build uh, once you kind of get in the groove. So I'm going to put some music on and uh, see how high we can make this thing go. I'll get back to you in a while. And that is a lot of hooks. Lots of hooks. <laughs> All right, we're up here at 119, and I am calling it quits. I am getting very tired of building this thing. Uh, I did it over two nights. I, I kind of had to stop last night. I was getting a little delirious and starting to make mistakes. But uh finished it up now. So, yeah, I'm also pretty much out of supplies, too. Just a couple of odds and ends left over. Uh, so, yeah, we got to slab up this top row here so that nothing can spawn up here. And I got one little idea. Oh, oh that was the torches. <laughs> One little idea left. I want to see. I'm hoping it, it, it looks good. Uh, no, thank you. Do, do, do. I only fell once. Not too bad. And I landed on the platform, so I kind of got all my stuff back. But it's, as always, it just scares the crap out of you. <laughs> uh, Alright. Oh, yeah. My, my idea. So what I want to do is, I'm thinking, so the front is out that way, I think, right? Yeah. The front is out that way. I think I want to try and have kind of water columns going down the side like that. And I know that they're going to make a big mess out at the bottom, but I can contain it later on with the, within the roof and stuff. So this, I'm hoping the idea here is that this will make it look really cool uh, approaching from, you know, the way we're going to approach from. So... Hope this doesn't ruin everything as it falls down for some reason, but Oh, yeah. Shows what I know. <laughs> as you can tell, I'm not a very much of a of an expert with ice. Uh what do I need? I need a block underneath it, I think. Is that the rule? Yeah. Is that gonna that should be good there. There we go. Alright. Yeah, that was rather embarrassing. I apologize for that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Do the same thing over here. And I got this ladder here, so I'm gonna leave it here for now, just in case the, you know, I need to, you know, do some maintenance or something. This thing's obviously brand new, so, you know, there's a good chance it's gonna have issues. So I'm just gonna leave the, uh, leave the ladders here for now. And I believe that's it. That's a, Oops, or that's a bottom slab there, so they can't spawn there. They can't spawn anywhere here. So I think we're done. Oh, I guess I should do here. Nope, not with snow. And that's it. Let's go down and see what that water looks like. And see what the whole thing looks like. Yep, I think I like the water. It gets kind of dark up there. I wonder if I should... Hmm. I should go up there and throw torches up there or something. That might look cool. Hmm. All right, I got to think about that. But I definitely like the water going down the side. It kind of frames the whole thing. And what I'd like to see even more are all these boys sitting here waiting to die. I got to say, though, I have been seeing some of them fall and uh, die instantly. I don't know if that's something to do with the vines up there or what, but... Love it. Love it. So happy to have this finally. So much XP. It's free now. Love it. Oh, I'm so excited. Alright, so. 
the Ender Farm kind of proper here is done. So now we get to the fun part of making all this area interesting. Um, but yeah, I think most of it I'm going to kind of do as a surprise to you guys because I want to kind of show you the whole thing at once. And I feel like if I build it slowly, it'll lose a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the cool factor, but not that it's going to be a maze or anything. You know, I'm not trying to build it up here, but uh, but hang on, let me gather some supplies, put, put away my uh, tower supplies, and get some of my building supplies, and we'll get started. All right, let's have some fun. Hard part's over. Let's uh, let's make this place look pretty nice now. You'll see, I got a lot of black wool and a lot of purple wool, and all different kinds of quartz. I got the chisel, the regular, and the, uh, what are they, the pillar or the columns. I'm not sure what they're called. Um, those are going to be the two kind of predominant blocks in here. My, my thought is that I want to do the floor. Because sticking with Endermen, right? Endermen are purple and black. So I thought it would be cool to stick with that kind of color style and what I want to do is kind of make a checkered pattern like that for my floor. I think it looks kind of good actually too. Some of you guys will probably think it looks completely ridiculous but I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover a decent chunk of area with this checkerboard pattern and uh, we'll start putting up some walls here. Hang on. Alright, the Enderman floor colors are done in here, the black and purple. I definitely like it, especially with all the Enderman and the particles going on. Uh, so yeah, for the walls, I'm going to uh, stick with some quartz, I think, of various styles. So I'm going to go something like, yeah, chiseled. And then in the middle, go with just the normal smooth stuff. And then I think at the top, I, d I did a little work uh, off camera with Netherrack. I had to control the water situation and I put these blocks here so that I could do that so that's the general look I'm gonna go with here the uh, you know all nether quartz uh, chiseled smooth and then uh, I don't know what, what's that called column pillar I should figure out what, that, what that's called and this will eventually go over here once I remove the ladder uh, so yeah let's do some of that I want to leave a three wide doorway right there So like that. So yeah, the thing I didn't realize as I was uh, in the nether gathering all this nether, I thought I had just tons of it, but I forgot it takes four quarts to do just one block. So man, am I tearing through this stuff quick. I don't think I'm going to have enough. We will see. Uh, all right, a little bit of that. Okay, so this is going to be the room... Well, I think I'm going to change out this slab here, maybe, with quartz slabs. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably do that to see what it feels like. Uh, this is going to be the room, obviously, where you do your enderman killing. Pretty straightforward. Um, actually, let me see here. Yeah, that's right. That's what I wanted to try. wonder what happens, how it's going to feel if I do... That water column obviously won't be out there later on. Uh, I'm going to have to put ones in the corner now, though, of course. Yeah, I like the windows, I think. Let me stick some over here. I got the sound of the game turned way down, in case you didn't notice, just so that the, uh, the Enderman wouldn't be just insanely annoying. Ah! And a little bit of glass. And again, I'll clean this up once the ladder's gone. 
So this is going to be the uh, yeah the killing room here. So out here is going to be a much bigger room that I've got some plans for, and I'm going to start working on that now off camera. And next time you see me, this should look a lot different. Please hold. Enderman Farm is complete. Finally. Hope you guys like it. Uh, I figured I'd chime in here and give you some of my thoughts on some of the decisions. You know, I like the uh, the Enderman head turned out okay. I tried to get, like, his open mouth like they do when they're angry there, but I don't know if I got the effect or not. Um, you might also be wondering why I don't have a minecart going down here. A uh, couple reasons for that. One, um, I totally screwed up when killing the dragon and forgot to move him over to this side before so his the portal to get back is like on the other side of the island so yeah that and I think in conjunction with you know most of the time I want to leave here I'm probably just going to use the uh, ender chest to put my supplies in and then just drop into the void and kill myself that's kind of the kind of the quick and dirty way back but yeah I'm really happy with how this uh, nether walkway turned out I honestly this wasn't my original plan but I had the idea to put the nether rack and kind of give a flaming walkway I think it turned out pretty good uh, but yeah, let's go in. Yeah, I'm not sure about the the purple and black. I kind of wanted it to be for the flooring. I like it a lot as the flooring, don't get me wrong. But for the walls here, it feels out of place. But the reason I did that is because, you know, it, it looks better when you're looking into the mouth to see more of the purple and black. Um, all right, so inside here, the back room didn't change much. Mostly still as, you know as described getting really good rates here it's not you know a constant well I shouldn't say I mean I haven't I haven't had to wait for Enderman yet so I'm perfectly happy with it um, I added a little chest over here this is just gonna be for food I'm probably gonna bring down just a truckload of uh, cooked chicken or something because uh, you know you do all the punching here and you get you uh, you get hungry real quick and as you'll you'll notice some Endermen do just die from the fall I'm not honestly sure why it's like Two or three percent, it seems like. Like one out of every, you know, 20, 30, every 50 or so. I don't know. But I'm not really worried about it. It's not significant enough to really make a difference. Uh, so that's that room. Got an enchanting table here. Uh, these are uh, cauldrons filled with water, in case you couldn't tell. I saw this effect in somebody's video when they were doing a flooring system, and I really liked it. I've never done it before, but I figured I'd give it a shot here. It kind of adds like a little magical feel to this area, I think. I don't know. Did the same thing over here with the ender chest, uh, little cubby hole here, a uh, little lighting in the back, you know, obsidian, nothing, nothing that special. We got our anvil with a little bit of lava effect. I really wasn't sure what to do here, but I like it. 
this is our ender chest or our ender ball chest where we get all our ender pearls and this is the kind of interesting part that is worth kind of describing you know as mentioned all of these uh, blah, 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 hoppers are connected together so no matter where enderman dies it scoops up the the ender ball and goes out here and then underneath there and in back I can't go out there now unfortunately uh, is an item elevator just a simple item elevator which takes them up to like right there oh, I gotta put that block back in and then they go over from the outside and then there's basically just a cascading four or five double chest system so this is this is basically my silo system without the you know without the uh, the light indicator um, but not that it's even that really the silo that's the whole point of the silo system is the light indicator um, but regardless, this is one point access to like five double chests worth of ender pearls and it'll automatically stream down in. Um, you know, my original plan was I was going to come out here and unlike the edge of that snow right there going down, I was going to have a whole uh, series of uh, redstone lamps and it was going to be basically a giant uh, uh, silo system if you guys saw my tutorial for ender pearls, but that was the last thing to do and quite honestly I was getting low on resources, I was running out of everything and I was getting tired and I just honestly changed my mind because you know what, this chest is pretty much just going to be permanently filled anyways, I'm never going to run out of ender pearls. So I went with the simpler design here, but it's still got the benefit of, you know, they're automatically gathered and brought over here for me, which is pretty cool. Uh, this over here, in case you guys can figure it out, uh, is my plan for doing a lot of book enchanting. Uh, and as I get the enchanting books, I'm going to categorize them into their, you know, appropriate chests based on what the enchant is. And I've got them, you know, tools, weapons, uh, armor, and bows. So, kind of like that design. I was originally going to just, like, have the chest going down, alphabetical all around. But then I figured sorting them into the subgroups looked a little bit better. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, it was it took a long time to build. Uh, getting the water on top, I can't show you, unfortunately, um, was uh, was quite a pain. Uh, and I and I know I did a lot off camera here, so I hope that doesn't bother you guys. But you know, if I had tried to record me doing this, it would have been you know like five episodes, and you guys would have been bored. And I think you just want to appreciate the uh, the end result. So. I think that's everything. That's going to do it. Uh, for next episode, I'm not really sure what's next, honestly. I'm kind of getting the urge to do a, like a, another base building one, you know, just something to make our base look a little bit better. Haven't done one of those in a while, um, and we're due. Now, the base definitely needs some love, so I'm thinking about doing that. I got a lot of odds and ends um, that I kind of want to fix up little details here and there that need to be done. So maybe we'll have a kind of an odds and ends and a, a building episode. Uh, but as always, if you guys have ideas for uh, what you think might make an interesting episode, you know, by all means, drop me a comment. I'm definitely looking for unique ideas. Um, I think that's it then, guys. Uh, all right, I'm going to wrap it up here. This is Tango, as always, and looking forward to seeing you guys next time. Later. Later.